Hello there, Erunar here, and today we are going to review Abantes. Our hero, Palamedes, is uh, having a lot of attack with having not enough defense. He is going to boost your units to be dealing a lot of more damage, boosting their defense or, re or reducing enemy defense and damage. So. This hero is kind of aggressive, he doesn't care, he just goes and deals damage. Alright, let's have a look on his roster. We are starting with Islanders. Uh, these are one of the weakest units, but they need to use Unspottable, so they are invisible right now when they are not moving, so you can use them uh, as a flankers or a bummer against enemy units. That's Next we have Young Spears, good solid duelist. Uh, they have very good stats, weapon and charge. Uh, these are solid for campaign and for many multiplayer battles. Spears! We have the Euboean Militia. Uh, they are they are quite weaker at holding the line, uh, not just because of their damage and attack, but to compensate this, uh, they throw javelins to enemies and they are able to negate enemy charges. So you are going to move them forward and always brace, and then you can have get a lot of value out of them. Uh, you will need to use them with other units. And now the funny stuff begins. Uh, Euban Club Warriors have a lot of charge. They are furious about it and they will drop enemy defense very quickly and you are going to win. For, for example, together with Young Spears, you are going to quickly kill enemy units in early game. When you go to the second tier, which is still part of the early game, you can have Light Spearmen as your solid frontline. They have good defense and the damage. Uh, they are not good enough for the mid game, but for early game they will be very good. And for your flankers, you got the Eubean colonists. They are pretty strong and also with flanking attack improved they are going to melt enemies. So this would be your MVP together with the chargers. You have the Echean Slingers as well. As I mentioned uh, in many videos these guys are efficient, uh, performing very, very well, good range, good damage. Uh, the island skirmishers are standard early game javelins. Uh, they have good speed and range and not not good enough uh, missile damage. So it's up to you if you want to use them or not. Also we have uh, the standard Echean bowmen. Uh, they have terrible range and damage and performance. I do not recommend them. Echian slings are already better. Or if you want uh, to use uh, archers, Eobean archers are way better. They are slightly better at skirmishing, have more ammunition and better damage. And yes, you can heal them up. So for early game, you can use Echian slings or Eobean archers. Now let's move to the mid game. We are going to upgrade our port to have the Island Club Warriors. These are very good at dealing with low tier units. Again with Unspottable you are able to make them invisible if they are not moving. Um, and that's pretty much it. They are quite solid. The Eobean Spearmen. These are even better for your front lines. Uh, 
they are well protected from the sides, have quite a lot of uh, defense, and you shall use the guard mode and standing still, you do not charge with these, and they will be able to hold enemies very well. For flanking you have the Eubean clubmen, these guys are similar to club warriors, they have pretty good stats, damage, charge, and they are, they are able to flank. So in mid game I can see that this would be your MVP unit. Unless you go with chargers. These chargers have a lot of charge, quite ok stats, but this furious charge ability will make enemies melt in front of your eyes. So uh, you can go with this uh, YOLO charger overwhelming tactic or you can go with standard the frontline and flanker tactic. It's up to you. Now missiles. We have heavy island skirmishers. These are more armored javelins and skirmishers. Uh, uh, maybe in multiplayer battles you won't see them so often, but in campaign they can be pretty good against enemy missiles and yes, they will melt enemy armored units. For the archers, I would recommend using these Eobian veteran archers. Uh, they have solid standard range 160, good damage output. And yes, you can heal them up, so you are going to skirmish with these. For a couple of seconds, they should be trading uh, blows with enemy missiles. Pull them back, they recover HP and use them again. That would be my recommendation. For chariots, we have just the missile chariots for more skirmishing and running around. Uh, in in melee charging, uh, you need to use this melee button and then you can melee charge. However, I do not recommend it because they would be stopped by every medium unit and they would not deal so much damage in melee. Uh, so this unit is up to you. Now let's move to the late game to see the best units this faction can offer. We are starting with very solid front line. You can put them on guard mode, stand them still and they will absorb enemy charge. They will be fine most of the time, survive for quite a long. These guys are pretty good front line unit. To support them we can have the companions of Palamedes. They have amazing attack, defense and damage. They are your kind of damage dealers thanks to their flanking getting improved and very good stats. Also, yeah, 70 armor is pretty good. So this is pretty good standard mid end game unit. And for charging, oh boy, we are going to melt enemies absurdly fast. 45 charge, pretty good weapon, I have mentioned this ability. And with fear on top of that, yes these two are stacking together. Furious charge is indeed lowering enemy morale. And you will be lowering enemy morale because of the causes fear ability. So yeah, this is your mm, shock charge unit. Now, javelins are quite interesting here because renowned island skirmishers are not just javelins with uh, better projectiles. They have very good sword and very good melee stats. Uh, many times uh, in multiplayer battles, I can afford to to play them as a frontline and dual enemy missiles and at the same time. It's a very riskant tactic, but I can rely that these guys, uh, when enemy will go in melee with them, these guys can put up some fight and survive for a bit. 
But yeah, these are javelins, you should be melting armored units instead. But yeah, they are very good, just saying. Another very good unit are Eubean Renowned Archers. 170 range is very good and with 50 range. You are going to use them as skirmishing as well, if needed. Uh, if you just win the duel, you will you will just heal up and then you can go on and win another missile duel or focus down enemy infantry units. They have plenty of ammunition, so I think these guys are very well suited for any battles. And lastly, we got reinforced skirmish chariots. This is also a missile chariot, we don't have melee variant, but I can tell you that uh, you shall go with melee mod as well. Uh, these guys have enough uh, power, 50 charge is very good. Uh, they have enough HP and power to be used like melee chariots. Uh, their javelins are going to do a lot of work for it. So I can recommend this for you, but be also careful. You cannot win against stronger or heavier chariots, but otherwise against infantry you are going to win. So. How are we going to play this faction? So, you got some versatility, you can use your uh, spear front line holding still, you can use missiles behind them, and they would be doing well, and when missiles are kind of winning or losing or hurt, you can move them back so they can heal up. Then, what we are going to do with our more offensive units? Uh, well, in my playstyle I use aggressively island skirmishers, you don't have to. You are going to use companions of Palamedes to support your front line and melt enemy sides. And if you want more melting, you just YOLO charge or swap charge or you can you can really charge together, let's say I'm charging. You can you can really blob this because they are together going to kill enemies very quickly. For lower tier units I can recommend you more more of these chargers. Or maybe bring more of flankers. Ah, maybe if you put some uh, uh, money into these guys, they can be used in the late game as well. And Island Cup Warriors, it's really up to you. I have told you what they are up about. About this small icon, they are invisible right now. So, that would be it. I hope you will have a fun with this faction. And see you later.